fit it all the way back. See the machine in there? They don't actually make this machine anymore. This is this machine's huge. They most people wouldn't buy it because it was too big. So they do make cool machines. Makes a machine. It's just a little bit smaller, which is fine. But we're spoiled rotten with this big huge machine. We got our water tank over here and water pump. This is our water line here, going to a two jet uh, cool machine nozzle. And then you can see the size of that equipment. That holds about 20 to 25 dry bags in it. And then the left side over here is the recycle. So the recycle, you see the vacuum. Here's the vacuum, it's going into the vacuum input. Down into its little caged area, then it meets back in the shredder box, that airlock area. So, pretty simple. One size uh, wrench will work on everything on this thing. So, really smartly designed. Uh, got to change the airlocks in it about every six months. That way you keep a really good tight air seal in there. So it's pulling material out instead of kind of pushing it back up into the hopper. That also slows you down. So if you just every six months or so change those seals, this thing will spray bags as fast as you possibly want it to. This is the feed line. So this is where the mix of recycle and dry comes out of. Flowing through there. So you have to turn it way down when you're doing walls because you you do it like you're doing an attic, it would just be too much material. Yeah. See, there's this vacuum hose right there. 